as you can tell from the title, I am pregnant. I uh, I know it's been a little while since I filmed a video. I'm not gonna make excuses. Obviously, life gets busy. Blah blah blah. It's boring. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am pregnant. So I am so super excited about this. I've always wanted to be a mom. I've always been obsessed with babies and kids uh, since I was been really little. That's what I've always just felt that was my um, calling, I guess. Um, just because I love kids so much and I am one of those people that like I would love to play go and play with the kids rather than the adults at like a party because I don't know I just I think kids are so fun I'm, and I think I'm pretty much just like a really big kid at heart um, but yeah so I guess I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about what has been going on uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna make this video or how interested you guys are gonna be in you know what like what kind of things you guys would want to know about my pregnancy and everything like that um, but I am just over 13 weeks pregnant at this point, so I am, <clears throat> I am, uh, so every Tuesday it becomes a new week for me. Um, so I am due May 12th is like the official due date. I, I guess I'll just, well, let me show you this first. I got this, is really cute. Um, my sister-in-law actually got me this. It is... A little countdown to baby so it says I don't know if you guys can see that or I'll do like a close-up of it it says 187 days and I think that I thought that was so cute and this was actually this is by Hallmark and it's retails for $35.99 Canadian I got it she got it for three dollars at Dollarama so um, if you're looking for one of these this I got it at Dollarama and um, or my sister-in-law got it at Dollarama I think it's just so cute so that's that and then of course I have the picture of the baby and I'll probably do a close-up of this but um, I have this little a frame because I, I don't know if you guys even know this probably because I did a video not a whole video on it but uh, I work at a consignment store a children's consignment store so like some a lot of cute things come through there I got this there it was never used it says uh, coming soon and it has a picture of the baby. This picture or ultrasound was taken at uh, 10 weeks. When I was 10 weeks, one day pregnant, I guess it was. Um, so now I am 13 weeks and one day pregnant. And um, so that was about three weeks ago that that got taken. So my baby is the size of a kiwi. Um, it's <clears throat> weight is 0.81 ounces. The length is 2.91 ounces, um, that's from the head to the bum, uh, and so far, th for 13 weeks, I guess I'll just give you a little update, uh, cause I don't really know what you guys want to know, I am, like I said, 13 weeks pregnant, I haven't had any symptoms of pregnancy at all, um, I was watching, when we were trying, I was watching, like, every month to see, like, oh, like, what kind of things my body was going through because I was hoping that it was hinting towards being pregnant and a lot of times my brain just my brain just tricked myself into thinking that I was when I wasn't so this time actually when I took the pregnancy test um, and because my periods are very sporadic and everything like they don't come every month and they don't ever come very rarely like every 28 days or something sorry is that a bus or something uh, so I can get more into that. I'm jumping everywhere right now because <laughs> I just don't know what, what to, to say. So if, I can get more into that if you guys want to know about that. But anyways, so this was just kind of like a random um, test that I took around the time that I was supposed to get my period, like what I thought might have been my period or whatever. And uh, so it just so happened that I was pregnant and I can get into the details of that and like how that actually happened and all that good stuff if you want to know that as well um, but seriously so far I haven't had any morning sickness not even at all um, I had one day where I was dizzy um, a, a really dizzy spell like I, it woke me up at like 7 o'clock in the morning or something and I was just super dizzy 
it's the feeling that of a, a hangover like the next day when you or even that night sometimes you get the spins and that's what I was having and it wouldn't go away and it was awful it was like ugh, it was so awful that lasted about three hours and then I was fine the other thing that I've noticed was like I just had two other days where I was just feeling like ugh, like just wasn't feeling well um but that's it. Like, I can only count for three days in my entire pregnancy so far that I wasn't feeling real, like, well. And even that, like, the spinning was the worst of it. So I feel very fortunate that I haven't ha experienced any kind of sickness or anything. Um, and I'm past the point of being nauseous at this point, too, because I'm in the second trimester. So I shouldn't even feel any nause nausea or anything from here on in, which I'm very happy about. The only other symptom, I guess, so far, and I'm not surprised at this because I kind of expected it, is that I'm already having lower back pain, and um, I already have problems with my feet. Uh, my feet, I know it sounds funny because I'm like, my feet, but my back, you're... My feet have a very high arch, so it causes, since I've been young, it's caused severe lower back pain. And, um, because my, since my feet are arched, they kind of turn in more like this. They're supposed to sit up like this, and they turn in like this. So, um, I need orthotics special. They're actually, like, formed to my feet orthotics to straighten out my feet like this. So then, when you're, um, because if your legs aren't aligned then your body becomes unaligned. So if, um, especially your feet, so if your feet aren't aligned, then it's gonna make your knees go in and it's gonna make your back get off kilter and everything like that. So that's why I've had lower back pain. I haven't experienced lower back pain in a, a while and I haven't used my orthotics in a really long time. Um, but now it's coming to a point where um, I'm gonna have to start wearing them again and that's kind of sucky because with those orthotics you have to wear like not special shoes but you have to wear like a good like running shoe or a supportive shoe um you can't wear cute boots and stuff for the fall and winter time uh and with the job i have i'm on my feet a lot so it's a lot of lower back pain like it it triggers my lower back pain um my what i'm really lucky about is that my sister-in-law she is a trainer, a personal trainer, and she actually just took a course on stretching feet. Everything connects from your feet to your head, so um, stretching out those, those parts of your body can help relieve other things. And it's really funny because I, she did it to me. She stretched me out one time. Um, I noticed the next day was like my back wasn't as bad and so I went to her almost like three or four days in a row to get stretched like what what she was mainly concentrating on was my glutes because the muscle in my glutes have like helped stretch the back and I helped I noticed that helps a lot I have to go see the chiropractor again I, I um, have to book an appointment to go see a prenatal chiropractor um, preferably because um, obviously I'm pregnant and I would prefer seeing somebody who was like you know, actually does help with pregnant women rather than just a regular chiropractor. And I'm probably going to book some massages and stuff because if my back is hurting now, then it's probably not a good sign for when I actually get a belly and everything like that. I'm not showing yet, just it's still kind of early for me to be showing. Um, I mean... I don't, I'm not going to show you my belly. <laughs> Maybe I will when I'm a little bit bigger. I'm actually more confident that it looks like a pregnant belly instead of just, like I feel like at this point I just gain, I'm gaining weight around my midsection. It doesn't really feel like a, a pregnant belly yet. So, um... Maybe when I get a little bit more confident that the belly looks like a belly, then I will show you. Um, but at this point, not really. Um, so... I guess that's it. That's kind of like my update. I don't know what else to kind of tell you. Um, well, I've, I guess I've bought some maternity clothes so far. Um, but because I, like I said, I work at a children's consignment store. It's actually a children's consignment and maternity store. So I've main my main things have been purchased from there, especially since you're 
when you're pregnant you literally are probably showing for only like four months and maybe you'll use the the clothing a little bit after too once your stomach because your stomach doesn't go down right away after you're pregnant um but for like six months i don't want to invest so much money at a you know to buy things brand new when things that come through the store are in great condition so and we're very picky with what we take in um they can be really like at time we have a time uh time maternity and i mean i checked out walmart they barely have anything for maternity and they still have like shorts and stuff which is getting cold out i don't really want shorts for <laughs> for um the, the fall and winter and i still have to check out target but mainly i just need pants at this point um i bought a few pairs of pants from like i said the consignment store i work at and I, the only pair of, and the only thing that I bought brand new for maternity has been maternity jeans, and I got those from Time, and um, they were thirty nine dollars, and that to me is kind of like that was the cheapest pair of pants they had in the store, and um, they were on sale or something, and I was like, I couldn't imagine paying forty dollars for every pair of pants that I bought because I think it's ridiculous. Um, so. Basically, so far, I've spent pro less than a hundred dollars, including those pants, those uh, those brand new pants I bought. Especially since my sister just had a baby, so I'm she's le lent me. Especially since my sister just had a baby, so she lent me a bunch of her maternity clothes too. The pants don't really fit because she's she's five feet tall. I'm five foot six. <laughs> my sister is six years older than me. The tops fit, but the bottoms, I don't know, they're just, they're not fitting properly. So, um, those, it's the pants that I'm having the most, most issue with, with, which is weird because typically I have tops, I have issues with purchasing tops and pants I usually find very easily. So, I'm finding this kind of weird and I'm, I'm specifically looking for like a skinny jean or something like that, skinny pants. Like, I don't, I don't really like, like, flared or whatever. Um... But yeah, so I've literally, I've, I basically almost have a whole wardrobe of maternity clothes and I've spent less than $100 on everything. Um, I might pick some things up here and there, but like, I, like this is a maternity top here. I got this from the store. It's just like a plain like brown top or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I think that's basically it. I, like I said, if you guys have any questions about like, um, my plans on delivery, my plans on a doctor, my plans on, like, all this stuff, anything that you guys want to know, maybe I'll just do another update, but, um, ask me questions and I'll try to answer them if you guys would like to know more information about my pregnancy, but, um, like I said, I am due in May, so we still got a few months to go, I'm, I'm patiently waiting, waiting for our belly to actually show up. I'm really excited for that. And it was nice talking to you guys again. And let me know how often you guys want me to update you, if at all. Um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye!